there. And so what is it that you feel like you lack? Or like what, what makes it so you can't climb? Why are you losing games in your opinion? Okay. Okay. That gets better with time. But we can we'll, we'll definitely see what goes on in this game. Did you get ranked in the closed beta? Okay. Okay, so um so you play Sage this game, but your main is Phoenix. Okay. So Okay. Okay. I usually go wall and shields. Yeah, perfect. First round. The wall is just so good on especially on pistol round. Exactly. Okay, so when uh, when you play these long angles or when you play on defense, um, your best bet is to play from like a very safe angle and not always expose yourself to this angle. So like how I, uh, especially because if they rush C, right, there's five people, right, usually, or like maybe three here and then two through garage, right? So you're always going to be outnumbered. So that's why it's it, you're usually at a disadvantage when you hold an angle like this. And uh, so, it, you know, so Phoenix just flew out by himself. But imagine if three people flew out at the same time, right? You might be dead, right? So the best thing to do is to just, like, stay behind the boxes and to just, like, peek a little. And then don't, if you don't see anything, hide again. Right? You just wait, you wait, you peek a little again to get info, to make sure they're not pushing, right? And then you just calm it, like, okay, nothing, see long, right? And then you just hide. But when you do this, you're exposing yourself to dying, and when you die, you can't heal, you can't pull up your wall, and Sage needs to be the last one to die, so she can heal her, her teammates, right? Alright, so... Okay, so this was a very good decision to wall. Um, but you make it very risky by peeking the same angle with your wall out. Because if you have your wall out, you can't shoot, right? So you're kind of like defenseless. So, uh, and you know you can turn the wall with, if you hold right click and then move your mouse. Okay, so yeah, so whenever you want to quickly wall, it's better to hide and take your time a little bit to make sure you're not gonna die for free to get this wall off because you can easily do it from safety from here, right? You can easily do it if you just take your time just a little bit because doing this, right? If there's two people now shooting at you, so you're just lucky that they kind of suck. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So yeah, you lost, I mean, this could be, you, you still have plenty of health, but this could have been a lot worse. You see what I'm saying? And you could have achieved the same thing. So not a big deal, but um, let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're knifing it now. Nice heal. Keep running. Nice. Okay, very good. Very good repositioning. Very, very important to stay alive here because now. It's okay to give up the site and then re-attack with your teammates, right? Because now you have Breach here and you can attack with him and then Reyna is pinch, pin, uh, pinch, pinching them from long. So this is very fine. Just even if you have to give up the site to stay alive, do it. Do it every time, right? So this is good. Spike planted. Ooh, nice. So now you guys have this perfect attack, right, from long, from garage, and from, like, this is the power of re-attacking the bomb site with your teammates and staying alive. 
So this is good. You hear him on your right. You hear him on your right. One enemy Another remaining. One on your right. Oh, you're the bullets. Oh no. <laughs> get a gun. Get a gun. Oh, you got nice. You played that really well. This is a really good pistol round. I mean, other than the little mistakes at the beginning that almost cost you your, your life, but other than that, you know? Okay, so economic-wise, what do you usually do when you win the first round, and why? Perfect. Now what do you do if you lose? Perfect. Yes, I love to see this. Very good. Do it every single time. Trust me. <laughs> A lot of people have this problem where they, they save this round after winning the first and it costs them sometimes. Not good. Okay, pretty good crosshair placement. Good rotation. Oh, gun out, gun out. Alright. Nice. Some good crosshair placement. I like to see this. Last those. player standing. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, that was just a little unlucky. Because she dashed the second you pulled out your orb. But. Yeah, it was just unlucky. Not a big deal. Last so you, you do you are aware that when you do ADS that you shoot slower. Uh, aim down sight. When you right click. To look through this. Yeah. So okay. So this is the trade off. You are a little bit more accurate, but you shoot slower. So. Um, if, if you can help it, try not to ADS. Yeah, yeah. Especially if they're this close, right? You definitely Dang just you. want to be, uh... And you can, you can go into a custom game and try it. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, on the fence about it. It's 100% you shoot slower, you know? It's, it's supposed to, because it's a trade-off, right? A little bit more accurate, but you shoot slower. So, and if you can control your weapon, then you don't need that boosted accuracy of aiming down sights, right? You can just control it yourself if you're, if you're good. Okay. So, so yeah, I usually never ever ADS, ever, no matter what. Unless I'm using like a bulldog or like, you know, a sniper or the stinger to burst fire. Okay, so, uh, here... Here our money is pretty bad. This should just be a save round. Um, only one person can really buy, so it's save, definitely save, not save. worth. Yeah, you're telling him to save. Good. Yeah, tell him to save. Whoa, whoa! I see. Okay. Yeah, if they if they don't listen to you and they don't save, then and everyone force bought, then you have to force buy with them. So good call. Good call. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have told you guys that just by the weapons you guys had, you know, like a, a shotgun, a pistol, one person had a vandal, you have a marshal. It's just, you know, it, it's unwinnable, really. Last player standing. Yeah, unlucky. I mean, I would have probably just saved in that position. Three versus one with the marshal never looked good. Now you guys have to force, I guess, or, or half buy, right? So this economy is all over the place. This is definitely a half buy round. When everyone has like 3,400 around that number, then you definitely want to be able to buy next round, but spend a little bit this round. And I know it's so hard to get your economy together with randoms, but you gotta try. You gotta try. Yeah, I know. 
But you know, if they never listen and you're forced to force buy every single round, you're not gonna win the game. So like, you really have to like try to convince them to save, or like you just have to ignore them and maybe save yourself and try to carry. Yeah, yeah but but like because some like sometimes people don't listen to me when I say like save for the first time, but then when I say save, 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 and then I call out their names, I'm like, Breach, sell your stuff, save, right? <laughs> then maybe, you know, they'll it'll get to them. Because, like, economy wins or loses games if you guys don't have a, a good economy. Because now, like, you guys aren't buying assault rifles, and they have assault rifles, and you guys are always, like, having these weird guns. So it's, it's difficult to win rounds without assault rifles, you know? Okay, so you can actually jump over that wall. Spike planted. Not a big deal. Last player standing. Just like this. Nice. There's another one for sure, and you know it. Okay, so now you have two options, right? So you can either try and win this round, and what does that look like? Resing. And then going in 2v4, right? So it's going to be hard, but it's an option. Or you try and find a better gun somewhere, or you play for exit frags, or you just save because it's 1v4, you know? So so let's see what you end up doing. Ooh. Yeah, so you, it's all right. But you see how we're in this weird time anomaly of uh, money that we always have, like right, we're like right at the margin of being able to full buy, but we can't because, because we're just not, see now you're like, should I, I just keep buying Spectre or Heavy Shields, right? And so far it's, it's round five right now and you have never had an assault rifle. Same. Can we save? Can we save? Oh, okay. You're saying it. You're saying in the mic. Can we save? Can we save? Let them know. Let them know. Don't give up. You know, you got to keep... Just say, hey, save, save, save. Like right now? So everyone's kind of doing it, right? So this is good. Even this, that, even that's fine. He should be able to buy next round. And he can buy next round. But this guy cannot. So what are we saying? Jet. Jet, save, save. We're going to buy next round. S sell your gun. Right? So really try to... Because if you know the right thing to do, then it's up to you to make sure everyone else is doing the right thing. And I know it can be hard and it feels like you're babysitting, but when I was climbing from silver to immortal, all I did was babysit every single game. <laughs> I told my team every round what they're allowed to buy down to. Like, I'll be like, okay, you can buy down to 1600 this round. Or you can buy down to 2400 this round to make sure you have enough. And I, I called it every round, right? I say save, half buy, full force, everyone buy, buy, buy. I... One enemy remaining. Behind you, behind you. On your right. You heard him. Where? Right or left. Nice. Good flick. So now it's finally round six and we're able to <laughs> we were able to get the assault rifle, you know? Miraculously. But that's good, finally. Okay, not, not a problem. I'm, I'm a Vandal player, too. I love the Vandal. One-shot headshots all day. Yeah, so we need to get out of this habit of ADSing. Now that you know that you shoot slower, you don't want to you don't want to handicap yourself. Yeah, a lot of... Uh, you'd be surprised uh, how many people didn't did not know this. Spike planted. 
Nice, you dinked her. Nice. Heal. Perfect. Oh, Breach just ulted. You guys gotta go. Heard him underneath you. Good res. Yeah. Last player standing. You'll get more used to understanding what you're hearing and able to uh, react off of it. But you definitely 100% heard the person underneath you. Uh, because I heard it inside the video. And I would have jumped and then immediately turned around to kill him. I mean, at least tried to kill him. Whoa! Oh, this remaining. guy's nuts! Uh, no time though. Okay, so. Oh. So this is definitely a force buy. What? Guard area, guard area. Okay. Nice crosshair placement. So if you do grab the orb and you make a play like this, I have nothing against that play, but what you really want to do is to fake it first, most of the time, right? Because you, you make the noise, then you get off it and you check, and you wait, and if no one peeks you after you made the noise, then it's safe to full commit to it, right? Just makes it a little safer. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it, it was still possible for someone to be right here, or right here, and then swing, but uh, it's fine for the most part. Not a big deal. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so... This is just like another thing with like the whole pulling out your wall when you're like in danger. You don't want to be peeking in angle with your ability out, right? So whenever I kill anyone, my first instinct is to look for the trade fragger, right? Because whenever you kill someone, they're going to want to trade the frag so someone else always swings. So whenever you kill someone, just keep it in your mind to look for the second guy about to peek you from somewhere. Right, so um, always keep it in mind. And now it's not a bad idea to run away and heal, but you want to make sure that before you run away, before you're actually safe, you're looking for the danger. Right, so you hide, and then when you're safe, that's when you pull out your ability, right? Don't do this thing where you're still in danger and then you pull it out. remaining because even though that situation seems oddly specific it'll happen all the time people will always try and go for trade frags right so there's always gonna be someone else swinging afterwards heal myself one enemy remaining. no 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 you definitely want to be healing this every single time because why because this is a free ability right so it's not like you have only one use so you exactly so you just want to be getting as many heals off in the round as you can right so because if you use it the earlier you use this the more times in the round you can use it right but if you save it for like the most opportunist time then you're only using it once a round maybe right Inning. thank you one second i'll be right back real quick 
Sorry. Alright, let's continue. Okay, so you have to be worried about falling into patterns. Okay, so, and what I mean by that is you don't want your enemies to exploit you in your play. So, you did this last round, right? And it worked out very well. But now, now they're expecting you here, right? So maybe someone's gonna peek this with an op and then kill you because they're ready for you now. So you definitely wanna be cautious about falling into exploitable patterns and making sure you're not really doing the same thing each time so they can't punish you for it. Good kill there. Good heal. Like to see that. Spike planted. One enemy remaining. So this is good, you see, because now, uh, don't go, don't go, don't peek. Okay, so they're probably going to go garage or C. This flank is fine. But here now, here. You see how we're also in this pattern of always flanking, right? Someone can be waiting right up here just to shoot you right in the head because they know you always flank, you know? This is definitely something I would do. And you say you don't even check it and you could have just died right there. So like, it, these plays can work and stuff but the reason why people are inconsistent is because they do s plays, unsafe plays, like this, and depending on their enemies is if they get punished or not. So like these guys are kind of bad, so you're not getting punished for the things you're doing. But if you go to a game with good people, you'll get punished for the things you're doing, and then you'll be thinking, oh, it's just not my day today. I'm just unlucky, right? But in reality, you were always doing unsafe plays the whole time. It's just you weren't getting punished for it. So that's why people think uh, they're inconsistent or they have off days. You know, stuff like that. Last player standing. Okay. Pretty sure you heard him there. Last player standing. Yep, you definitely heard him, CT. 100%, 1000% heard him right there by you. Yeah. Five oh players. no! Last player standing. Okay, so, um. That. I'm seeing this trend of either not trusting the sound that you hear or you're not hearing it. So, like, I don't know if it's your headphones, the volume on the sound effects, or something like that, but, like, I'm hearing very crucial info. Um. So yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's what's going on there, but we're definitely hearing the right stuff, but you're not reacting to it. I see. 
Yeah. And something like I think you I even like heard it. Like Last let me see. Standing. Yeah, like you heard the footstep and you started walking and then you started looking over here, which was the which was the correct play, but Last player standing. You hear it now. Then you look over here, you start walking. This is perfect. But you kind of like you're like, ah, oh, I was just hearing things. And then you ignore it. But no, you're 100% right. He is standing right here. Okay. You see how we're in this pattern? Always doing the same thing, right? Oh, they, they're even waiting for you. So maybe they're not as dumb as I thought. So you, you that, was, that was still a good kill, right? But now, do you think this one for one trade was worth it? Perfect. And what abilities did we still have? All of them. All of them. And how good are Sage's abilities? Very. So this trade definitely wasn't worth it and they finally punished you for it. So now what you want to be doing is to, before you get punished, change your habit. Right? Constantly keep the opponents guessing. Wow. One enemy remaining. There's Breach. Fearless. Nice. In the half. But so, so yeah, you know, so that was a pretty close round and at one point it was 3v3 and they had the bomb down. So it was a pretty close round for, for no reason when you had all your abilities and you kind of died for no reason. You see what I'm saying? Like you made that a close round for them. Because you were exploited. And see, now we're we're doing it again. All right. So that's good. I mean, it's good that you backed off. So this is this is the headshot angle if they are hugging the back wall. Um like that's fine. I think I think it's fine, but I think what people do mainly when they push uh actually I don't know, never mind. This is probably okay. It's just uh, I I would opt for aiming the the lower, the closer headshot cuz that's just that's just what I've encountered more often. But not 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 that big of a deal. You still had a correct headshot angle. Okay. So yeah, hopefully hopefully after this session you're ADSing a lot less. Okay, so what two abilities do we still have up that would probably ruin their whole push, right? So if they're throwing utility, you counter their utility with yours. Right, so the second the enemy brimstone smoke that, bounce ice off that, maybe even b bounce my second ice off this, right, to cut off short and long, and then maybe reposition to a safer angle or you could hold here but this is kind of like a your screwed spot right because you have nowhere to run so it's a one and done spot and we don't really like those on defense with guns not too safe but yeah you definitely want to counter their utility with yours you should have died a lot quicker these guys are 
These guys are specimens. <laughs> Alright, so... Yikes, yikes, yikes. Pistol round. So now they saw you. You guys have to go quick because they're rotating. The other, the jet screaming, hey, 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 hey. So now, now you have to go quick. Follow your teammates. Perfect. Go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't back off. Ah, oh, yeah. See, when you go this slow, then you you're allowing this to happen, right? So you guys get pinched. But if you go the whole time then you guys don't get flanked this quick. So either go in together or retreat together. Don't sit here, don't sit here, right? That's the worst option. Player standing. Yeah. Okay. Definitely can, save. Can, can I go with my rock with it? Nice. So now what are we doing? We got the pick. Fast. Fast. Don't let B come. Don't let A come, right? Go quick. Go, go. Nice. You even, you even say go, go. Perfect. Yes. Get the bomb down, Breach. Yeah, plant. <laughs> You're screaming the same thing I am. It's funny. Okay, okay. So, this is very, very aggressive, right? Because what do we still have? And heal, even. So, no one's low, but maybe someone will get low and then you'll be able to heal them. But, you don't have to peek this because can they defend, can they defuse from here? No, they have to walk in and defuse right here, right? So they have to walk into you. So if you just hold right here, this is a perfect angle, right? This, you're going to kill anyone that comes, right? A little bit of patience uh, would have would have gotten you this kill easily. Remaining. Close round, close round. But you see, it didn't need to be this close. Because you still had utility up, and if you played a little bit more passive, then you would have been alive and you would have gotten this kill. So it would have been 4v3 or 4v2. I don't know what it was, but you know what I'm saying. Same plan, same plan. Because they have to come to you to defuse. There's no reason that you have to go to them. Okay, so now you guys made all this noise. The gig is up. They saw you guys. Now, we're attacking together or falling back together. We don't want to stay long. Nice. Get in there. Okay. So now it's looking pretty bad. They're stalling you out pretty well. So now fall back together. Perfect. Perfect. It doesn't necessarily matter if you go in or you fall back. It just matters that you guys are all doing it together. Right? So it really doesn't matter what the right or wrong call is. Just It just matters that you guys are all doing the same thing. Because you can easily overpower anyone with you four. Right? If you just play together. This omen didn't stand a chance. Even if he killed the breach, you get the trade frag. You know? That's the power of playing together. Oh, good shot. Yeah, pretty good aim. I, I do have to say. Yeah, that's good. Your crosshair placement, your aim, your flicking, it's it's very good. 
So we just need to work it, work on a little bit of positioning, uh, ability usage, uh, not falling into patterns, don't be exploitable, you know, stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah, definitely the sound is huge. Okay, you hear one. Perfect. Perfect. One enemy remaining. Nice. Very good. Okay. This is good. I'd have definitely got that orb though. It's free, it's free, it's free. Okay, what do we think about this wall? It was okay, yeah. Um, what would made it less of a risk? Exactly, right? Like if, or if you have your gun out, you clear the angles, you wait, then you get, you stand right here and wall that, right? You, like, yeah, I know you just killed someone here, but the B player could also be here too, from from B to window and then jump down. So he could have easily just tr try and traded this kill, right? Because whenever you kill one, maybe someone will pop out. So you definitely want to be not peeking these dangerous angles with not a gun out. But not the biggest deal. That that wall was, was okay because you guys got two kills there. And, but I'm, I'm mainly talking about the general idea of ability usage. Of making it more safer for yourself. Okay. See, ah, oh, your aim is just... You hear him! You hear him! You know exactly where he is, he's still on! Got it, that sound! That sound! Right? He teleports, and the, the teleport makes a sound, and I heard it. I knew exactly 100% sure he was here, and you should have as well. And you, if you heard that earlier, you would have been either here, or you would have been here. Or holding the angle ready for it. So it would have saved your life. Now, because of that, you leave your teammate in a 1v1 situation. He should be able to win this, but still. Yeah, so he wins, so that's good. But, you know, risky, risky. Oh, he just kind of ran into that one. But your headshot percentage is insane. You're, you're a headshot machine. Oh, so good, so good. Okay. You see? We're peeking. We're peeking the stuff we're walling off. We're dead. <laughs> see, and how, how could we have walled this safely? Right, you stand here, whatever, and then you wall right here, right? Because how many times ha do you see people here? All the time, right? So you're just kind of hoping that, I mean, even if someone comes here, they can't even see the jet because he's more to the right. So like, you're just hoping they don't peek. Right, it's so super scary and I see sages and people do this all the time, and then they'll die, and they'll be like, oh, unlucky. But it's not. It's not unlucky, because a better player wouldn't put themselves in that position to rely to luck, to live there. Okay, so this is, this is good that you're watching the flank. You acknowledge that no one was watching it, so you took it upon yourself. One enemy remaining. Can he defuse here? Definitely not. So, how do we how do we make this advantageous for us? Hit here, or even staying short, 
just watching the bomb because it was planted for you. You could have just chilled, you know. But now we're we're very aggressive, very aggressive, and we don't need to be. I mean, you still get the kill, but the remember what I said about uh, you not getting punished because they're bad players. Like you are, you are better than like all of these guys on the enemy team, and so. It doesn't matter if the things you're doing are unsafe and kind of bad because you just have better aim than they. You're just you're just shitting on them, right? But against better players, you're going to get punished for doing stuff like this and you don't need to risk it, right? You can just hide here this whole time, wait till you hear a bomb tap and then peek, right? We definitely don't need to be running inside their spawn to uh, chase down kills, you know? Definitely don't need to. Hundred percent sure she's there. Oh, or he's there. That's not flashing anyone. Okay, so not a not a big deal, right? You your headshot, your angle was the far away angle. Uh, your crosshair placement was for deeper inside garage. So not that big of a deal. He surprised you. Uh, he was closer than you thought. Um, honestly, not that, not that big of a deal. Dying here. Okay, so what's what's going through my head right now is I need to get this res off because it's a 2v2 right now I want to make this a 3v2 to make this round even easier right and where are the bodies all right here and there's the bomb too even so this this play is okay maybe if you weren't sage maybe if you were Phoenix this play would be really good but when you when you do play sage you have to flip the switch on how you play cuz like look right this whole round we didn't use any of these and uh, right now the game changing f changing uh, ult is running and resing someone last player standing one enemy remaining. nice so now my goal is to to definitely try and res someone as fast as I can. Nice. So it was a very close round, but we want it to not be so close. We don't want it to be risky. We don't want it to gamble. We want to take our rounds decisively, right? And we do that by using ults and uh, really just playing to your advantages. And when you play Sage, you have to be with your team, and you have to support them. It was a good flank. I mean, it won you the round. But, um, see, like, right now, you are playing like a Phoenix. Your whole team's together. but y And it's okay to be to have a Lurker to get some picks other, other places in the map, but Sage isn't the one doing it. Okay? So, if this was Phoenix, I would say, perfect. Right? Because you getting picked by yourself isn't worth the... Like, you getting a pick isn't worth the risk of you dying with all of this. Nice. Okay, but look. Look at Breach. He's 1 HP. 
one HP and he has his ult. So your heal is two times more valuable because he has an ult up, right? But we can't heal him because we're not with him. Can you hear me? One enemy remaining. So even though, like, the, like if you were Phoenix, I'm just, like, applauding you the whole time, right? <laughs> but Flawless. since we're Sage, we're not doing the things we should be doing. Yep. So that's good. Yeah, so, so it happens again here, and it's even worse now. Why? We have the bomb. Good kill, good kill, but you could have easily died there, Jay, you know? Jay, help me, help me. Yeah, I'll ready, I'll ready. Right, so if you died there, mid, you drop the bomb, you don't have res, and you wouldn't be able to res this guy, and you know, it's just, it just does not look good, you know? So that's good. It's good. Doesn't doesn't matter where you go. If you go C fast, or if you go B fast, or if you go A fast and you back off together or hard push, it just matters that you're all on the same page, being one destructive force somewhere. Because five people running into a site is a million times better than a couple, right? Shouldn't be first one in. You're playing like a phoenix! But it's alright. We're in, we're in, we're in. Okay. There it is. You could have died. Okay, good. Good positioning. I really like this. Nice. Oh, run, run! Yeah, a little unlucky. But this should be an easy round for you guys. But you're carrying. You're doing very well this game. Perfect. Love to see it. So, um, yeah, you played really well this game. I, I think you definitely carried them to victory. And, um... But we see that uh, we see that there's even though you played very well and you killed a lot of people, we see the the problems, the hidden problems, right? That you didn't see at first, but now looking at it. Um, now, is there any questions you have? Okay. Hey. Uh, no problem. I'm, I'm glad to uh, help and if you have any questions and if you forgot to ask me anything You can always DM me, you know or drop some questions in the queries channel or just private message me. It's not a big deal Hey, no problem. Have a good one, dude